member for Calgary Mountain View. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. After 42 years in power, this government is clearly the best in Canada at one area, public relations spin. Given another serious budget deficit, this government announced it has suddenly realized new ways to improve care for our most vulnerable and save money at the same time. The Public Affairs Bureau is clearly in damage control for a government that is, has failed a thoughtful, evidence-based, inclusive plan for people, especially our most vulnerable. Having mismanaged our finances and still dependent on oil prices for 25% of Alberta's budget, it's no surprise that the cuts to some of our most vulnerable citizens are being explained as improving care for people. And all this without consultations with key stakeholders and clients in these programs. Under the excuse of results-based budgeting, Human Services has cut Servants Anonymous Emergency Shelter in Calgary, 48 million from patients for people with developmental disabilities, community supports, allowed cuts to in from the cold, housing families, which are mostly First Nations, including children, from the street, announced it will wait to address its commitment to end child poverty until it has a definition of poverty. And yet another example is the lack of indexing of age, assured income for the severely handicapped, which would protect them from cost of living increases year to year. This, of course, contrasts sharply with the MLA salaries, which benefit from a policy of indexing and annual cost of living increases. Small wonder that Albertans are saying enough is enough, when the most vulnerable and their exhausted families must fight each year for their essential supports and depend on charity of churches and donors for their security. There is no security. But the fear of the wild rose dominates all decisions of this old government. They will not bring in a fair tax system to provide stability and dignity to our most vulnerable, just more spin. Well, Albertans are doing their own results-based analysis on this government, and the trust is gone. Many long-standing Tories that I know will no longer be supporting this sham of responsible government. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.